Hello, and today we'll be checking out our updated plugin. That's the Magento 2 one-step checkout plugin that basically simplifies the checkout process by reducing the number of steps to only one, thus allowing the Magento 2 store customers to buy the product in just a single tap. And some of the updated features include a buy now button for a quick checkout, Google autocomplete address for filling up the address by the guest customers, addition of the GST field for the Indian customers, showing terms and conditions checkbox at the checkout page, setting up the custom page title that is visible to the customers and customizable block design at the checkout page. So I'll be showing you all of these uh, updated features uh, uh, in a while from now. But before proceeding further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. So uh, to demonstrate uh, the plugin itself, you can see that right now I'm not logged into my uh, uh, customer account and uh, I'm a guest user right now. And I'm on one of the products that's the Nikon Camera 8X Zoom as you can see. So here we have the buy now button that uh, allows the customers to directly go to the checkout page without any hassles. So if I tap here on the buy now button, I'll be redirected to the checkout page and we'll be able to see the uh, one page checkout being displayed thereafter. So here you can see that we are on the one page checkout right now. And uh, at the very top right hand corner, we have the option to sign in. We can also uh, enter our email address if you're already in registered customer then we can enter our username and then the password here so as to log into our account to make a checkout otherwise uh, what we can do is we can come down to the shipping address uh, we can fill in our uh, first name last name uh, our phone number now the uh, thing that i was talking about was the uh, uh, the first was the buy now button so i've already shown you then we have the google autocomplete address so here if i have to enter i can enter uh, for example california and the google auto address complete is working as you can see so for that you will have to have the google api key you can check the user guide that i've attached within the description of this particular video for more details of how to get the key and uh, the rest of the details as well so here you can see that we have three different uh, blocks one two and three and all of these blocks are allowing the customers to now directly go ahead and place the order there on the store itself the other thing that we were talking about was uh, the addition of the gst field for the indian customer so now for example if i go ahead and try and enter uh, the uh, street address as new delhi india and if i select that up i'll be able to see the gst field here as you can see here I've selected that and the GST field has uh, automatically uh, came up. Now if I go ahead and go for California for example, uh, California and if I select that the GST field would be removed. Now if I again go ahead and enter New Delhi and select that up automatically you can see that the GST field has popped up automatically there and the other thing that i was talking about was the uh, showing the terms and conditions on the uh, checkout page uh, so here's the checkbox for the terms and conditions that have, we have added within the uh, one page checkout itself as you can see here the customers can tap on that and can check the terms and conditions and can go through the same and can check this first and only then can they place the order here we are also uh, added one more uh, functionality of adding some details about the order itself so here you can set up the uh, uh, the label for that so this is customizable so you can set any text here uh, from the back end of uh, from the back end configuration of this particular plugin you can set up the uh, label that you want to show to the customers and the customers can then enter the appropriate tag uh, appropriate uh, data here within this for this particular order that they are going to uh, place so i'll just show you that in a while in the admin backend panel as well so let's get ahead and let's uh, log into the admin backend panel in the uh, same time here and uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, log into the customer account here so let me go ahead and let me enter the customer email address so you can see that as soon as i've entered the address email address 
automatically my account has been saved here now I can directly log in I'll be redirected back to the uh, one page checkout there in a while so I've been redirected to the checkout page now I have these two products in my cart I can select my shipping method and according to the chosen shipping method we have also the payment method I can choose my payment method and uh, on the right hand side I have my order summary having all of the products that are there within my cart I'll have to accept the terms and conditions if I want I can enter uh, something related to this particular order kindly set it up rightly alright GHTLY and uh, then uh, let me set this up correctly okay and then the customer can directly go ahead and can tap on the place order button to place the order uh, without any hassles and that too in just a single click there so you can see that the order has been uh, placed there and we can check the order details after we have placed the order as well if you want you can go ahead and here are the two products that were there within the uh, cart there itself now coming back to the back end and uh, back end of this uh, particular plugins configuration to make the configuration settings you need to log into your magento 2 backend panel then you'll have to navigate to stores and then configuration on the configuration page uh, uh, what you need to do is you need to navigate uh, to the web cool block and under the web cool block here you have the configuration page here's the web cool block under the web cool block you'll have to navigate to the one step checkout here so after the successful installation you'll have the one step checkout under the web cool block there and there you'll find the general settings as you can see here so if i tap on that here we are having the general settings so let's go through each of these settings one by one according to our updated uh, uh, plugin settings and uh, the very first option that we have here is to enable the one step checkout uh, there so if you want to enable the one step checkout you can choose a yes otherwise you can set it as a no the second one is the one page checkout title so the title can be set and this title that you have set here would be visible to the customers on the checkout page so let me show you that so here's the title that is visible to the customers so you can change this one as per your own requirement there so for example if we change it to one page checkout 22 and I save the configuration and then come back to the uh, checkout page or the one step checkout page and refresh the same just uh, let me refresh it once you can see that the title has changed to one page checkout 22 as I've uh, changed it here uh, within the backend configuration then we have the select checkout layout so you can have a three column layout or a two column layout right now we are having a three column layout as you can see and if i go ahead and i choose a two column layout i save the configuration come back to the one page checkout refresh the page one now you can see that we have a two column checkout page itself so here we have the shipping address section then we have the shipping methods the payment method and the order summary so we have two columns let me change it once again to a three column layout let me save it let me go to the front end let me refresh the page once and you can see that again we are having a three column layout again that's um, a beautiful layout that we can see right now for the one page checkout for the magento 2 platform based web stores now after the three uh, column layout we have the enable address auto complete for shipping address i've already shown you so you can choose it as a as a yes or a no if you choose is choose it as a no then the customers need to enter their address otherwise uh, they can enter their location and according to that auto uh, population would be done for the address there and that would be entered automatically here you need to enter the google autocomplete api key you can check the user guide for more details on how to get this uh, particular uh, google autocomplete api key uh, then you have the enable order comment field now so if we enable this uh, enable order comment field as yes then at the checkout page uh, here we'll have this uh, order comment field otherwise we will not have it so if we choose it as a no it would be disabled from the from the checkout page so if i go ahead and save this configuration for enable order comment field as no 
and come back to this particular page and refresh the one step checkout page here let me refresh the page once you can see that the order comment uh, option has been removed from this and uh, if i uh, want i can enable it if i enable it i can set the order comment field label web will help one to one for example and I, if i save the configuration now and i come back to this page i refresh the page once again so you'll see that we have uh, the order comment uh, section now for the order comment and here we have the label change as web could help one to one so that was about the order comment field enable disable order field label and then we have the enable gst field i've already shown you for the uh, when we are entering the address there at the uh, one page checkout uh, for a guest user if he is trying to enter his address if it's of india then the gst field would be enabled and lastly we have the enable blocks collapsible this is one more uh, feature that we have added so right now you can see that uh, we can collapse these fields as well all right we are able to collapse these fields now these uh, this particular feature comes from this option that's the enable blocks collapsible as yes if i choose it as no and save the configuration i come back to the one step checkout page i refresh the page now uh, this collapsible field option would not be there i'll just show you that in a second so you can see that right now we don't have the collapsible field option available on the blocks here but if i enable this option and save this particular configuration come back to the storefront on the checkout page on the one step checkout page i refresh the page once again okay and you can see that we are having the collapsible option uh, back up and ready to use so that was much about the uh, updated features of the one step checkout for the magenta 2 platform based web stores wherein we have uh, added the uh, what we say as the buy now button and much more options there itself and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same so that uh, now you know that how quickly the customers can make a check out there by having just a single step there adding the products into the cart tapping on the proceed to check out or from the product pages tapping the buy now button coming to the one uh, one page uh, checkout uh, section selecting the options there and tapping the place order button to complete their purchase so that was much about the plugin itself and thanks for watching this video and uh, i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow there uh, if you like the video do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead